Good evening, I'm just showing you something I'm doing on me. Uh, I've got the focus back. Um, so I'm just doing, as I said to you before, it's wet through inside. I think it might be, well, it's, it's definitely coming through this. This light's not fixed correctly here. I noticed the gap was bigger than the other side. As you can see, it's moving about. So there's definitely water getting through there. But the other common place, I've knocked the bungs out under here. There's two rubber bungs underneath. Um, there is also something where I could take this bumper off and there's two little vents either side here that just need resealing with some sealant. It could be getting through there. I've got the car now, but there's also two seams on the inside of the roof here where it could be getting in, but I just want to show you what I'm doing anyway. Just taking the seats out. As you can see, it needs a really good valet in here, really. It's going to get a really good tool. Where is Ah, empty one, never mind. So yeah, you can see how mucky it is. You can see the mould spores. I've ordered some uh, Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, five litres all-purpose cleaner today, and some new carpet solution. Hello, you okay? Yeah. And you imagine we're getting a bath. You're going to get a bath? Yeah. Right, I'll be five minutes and then we'll come get a bath. Mum said uh, we have to go um, up to the bath in two minutes. Okay, sounds like a plan. And when you finish and got us out the bath, yeah. Mum will be in bed. Yeah. When she sees us in the jams, <laughs> Mum will think. <laughs> she will, won't she? she right. Give me five minutes, I'll come get you in bath. Non stop here. Non stop. So, yeah, it's really mucky here, but honestly, it's going to be, it's going to come up so nice and clean. It's kind of weird, but I don't know how to explain this, but I get more excited by these projects than I do the ones that are good, like the mini I've picked up today. Took it for service and MOT, straight back, no problems, needs a wash and a hoover. That's going to be fine, but there's some satisfaction in sorting this out, isn't there? You know, it's kind of at that point in its life where it's been neglected a little bit. But it drives really well, drives lovely. Um, looks like it's had two new springs and stuff on the back, so somebody spent some money on it somewhere. It's had a full service as well in December, and we've just got to a point where we've just had enough of it, haven't we? Um, so yeah, I'm going to get. I've took the seats out. We need to get this. This is it's drier than it were, but it still needs to all come out. It's full of mold. I'm going to get it all out, get it dehumidified. The seats are going to be easier to clean now I've got them out. You know, these are all stained and they're going to come up really nice. All the plastics will come up nice. It's all filthy and dirty in here. But yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to, you know, it's all skin and fingernails and all sorts in here but yeah it's took me five minutes i've just undone four bolts here disconnected the battery and disconnected the the airbag thing that's a seven mil these are 50 mil torque screws that's a seven mil bolt um so yeah i just wanted you to see how mucky it is so then i can show you at the end how good it looks when i finished Good morning, just showing you some progress, some updates this morning on the Focus we're working on. Just got the carpets out this morning. Look at the state of them. Full of mould. Really damp. Yeah, you can just see the water rising there where I'm standing. I've separated it from the sound deadening. I'm not putting the old... I'm going to take that bit off. As you can see, it's gone pink. It's full of mould. Even if you dry that out, it's still going to be full of mould spores. So I'm, I'm taking all that out. I'm going to put new sound deadening in. Give these a good vac. 
um, treat them with some, I've got some Maguire's all purpose cleaner yesterday. It's supposed to dilute that to 10 to one. That's just an empty spray, but I've put it in. Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Yeah, down there, look. These are the seats that I've took out. That's for Maguire's whole purpose clean. He's supposed to dilute it 10 to one, but I've just been using it neat. I've used it on this seat already. I put it on that seat last night. Uh, I've not done that one yet. No, my bad, I've done that one. That's bad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I can see looking at the light greys now. I've, this one's been treated. Looking at the seat belt, that's a bit cleaner compared to that. Yeah, that's still dirty. So yeah, sprayed it on that one last night. Yeah, but they'll both get done. They'll both get carpet vacked. Give those a good clean. Got the back seats out there ready to do. They'll all come up as good as new. Much easier getting it. Well, it's been a bit of a hassle getting it out, but now it's out, it's going to be much easier. I've got about another hour before I've got to pick my little one up from school. Hoping to get them vacked and I'll get them all sprayed with that all-purpose cleaner. That's the uh, old sound deadening that I've took out again. Some people would dry that and put it back in, but you ain't drying that. You're never going to get that right. Let's have a look inside. This is my kind of first look as well, really. So yeah, as you can see, there's all water, standing water down here. We'll get all that sprayed and cleaned out. I've got a mop and bucket ready. I'll sludge you down there. This is going to be spotless when I'm done. We've got a Lego man down there. There's always a Lego man. Always a Lego man for some reason. Some priceless pearls. Oh, one pence. Some more priceless pearls down there. Might be able to sell them for a little bit. There were five pence somewhere as well. A cray crayon, a crayon. More bits of Lego. Might be able to get a full set. So yeah, I'm gonna get all this mopped out. Get it all sprayed with that all-purpose cleaner. I've got a dehumidifier which I can stick in here. We weren't gonna take that out, but that's soaking. So I might just have to, I don't know. I don't know, might take that out, might not. Might just get a um, dehumidifier in here just to dry that bit out. We'll see, we'll see. And yeah, all these plastics will get treated. I've also bought a new, yeah, so I've got the all-purpose cleaner, which is going to get put on all the plastics and, and where it's going to get spurted everywhere. Yeah, I can't open the boot. And I've also, I saw another trader friend listing uh, a Fiesta for sale and I noticed his plastics looked amazing. So I asked him what I used and this is what it is, 303 Aerospace Protectant. I've never heard of it. That's £30 a litre. Expensive, but leaves a really nice matte finish. So I'm hoping to get all the plastics treated with that once I've cleaned it. I've got some carpet shampoo there ready to go some important beers for afterwards that's my other passion is rum if anybody uh, if anybody wants to go off on a tangent we'll talk about rum this is my box of empties that I've got in here that's my empty caca as you can see, I'm a bit of a hoarder. I can't really throw my empties. There's some nice bottles in there. That Luger's a really nice fancy bottle. Nice rum as well. Pirates Grog, Hawksbill, that's my favourite go-to. That's about £22 a bottle, really good value. As you can see, another bottle of Hawksbill. That's my kind of my favourite stuff. That's a nice one. Butterscotch rum. Really sweet if you like that sort of thing. What else? Are I? Dead Man's Fingers. Oh, another bottle of Hawksbill down there. I told you that's my favourite. Dead Man's Fingers. That's a nice cheap rum. Beach Bum. Didn't think much to that. 
duppy share. Yeah, that's okay. I don't mind a, a bit of duppy share. Kraken, not really a big fan. I'll drink it if somebody buys me it. So yeah, if there's any rum fans out there, get commenting on the rums. Any rums you can recommend to me. You recommend them, I'll drink them. So right, I'm going to crack on. Get this carpet hoovered. Get all these bits up and get it uh, sprayed with the old purpose cleaner. Uh, oh, in other news. Loads of other news, really. Uh, I've got a text about the C-Max this morning. That's in for the MOT. Just needs a couple of tyres, so that's good news. As I thought, it, it, I knew that drove really well. Um, so, yeah, we've had that serviced and just a couple of tyres to get it through the MOT. He's done a forced regen on the DPF as well, so hopefully that should clear all the DPF issues. Um, I'm also in a bit of a dispute, I might save that for another video, but I'm in a bit of a dispute with Aston Barkley at the minute over a, over the S-Max. I don't know if I've ever put the S-Max on the channel, but I'll do that on another separate video. I'll do, it, do that as a bit of a bedtime story. Cheers guys, right, I'm going to crack on before I pick my little one up from school, get this uh, hoovered and try and get some progress on this focus. So that then I can get that down for service and MOT. Just a wee bit of a short update. I've just, this side's just had a very basic vac. It is still wet, but you know, there's still bits down there where I need to get right in there once it's dried out. Like I say, it's still wet every minute, but I just wanted to get the main bits off. Again, this will all get um, all purpose cleaner and dried out, all purpose cleaner and carpet. Um, wet vac on there, so that's that side, that's the side I haven't done yet, so even with a vac it's, it's looking better already. You know, you can see how mucky it was this side, you can see the mould down there, and that's that side. So yeah, feeling better already. So as you can see, I've dried all this car out now. I've, it's all been um, cleaned with the all-purpose cleaner and I used uh, just a bucket of hot soapy water as well just to get all the water out. It smells a lot better in here now. It's a lot cleaner. Uh, and I've just put this sound deadening down now. Zoom out a little bit there, yeah, that's a bit better. So yeah, I've just, just put this sort of... Uh, waterproofy sound deadening down that you use for kind of um, audio insulations that kind of thing so it's just a lot cleaner it's took me about half an hour maybe putting this in quite easy to put down really i've not stuck it down it has got a sticky back plastic on it but i've not stuck it down because so i've done that before in uh other cars that i've had and i just find it messy to be honest it's not going anywhere it's all fixed in place once a carpet's on top, well, it's not moving anywhere now, but I think it's kind of pretty pointless sticking it down and, like I say, it just makes a mess, really. So, yeah, happy that this is all clean and tidy in here now. New sound deadening in. I uh, wet back the carpet last night. I've had that drying in my garage. That's come up quite nice. Just going to give it another vac now i'm going to give it a brush with a silicon brush and give it another final vac to get all the last little bits of dirt out but it certainly smells a lot better now so i'm just going to give that one last vac and get that in still got these mats to do i need to wet back them yet yeah, i found them in the boot some nice mats unless i just spend 20 quid and put some new ones in i don't mm, quite nice mats really but depends whether i can be bothered spending half an hour wet backing them We'll see. Uh, done all the seats. Seats have all been wet backed. They've come up lovely. You can see how clean that one is now, can't you? A lot, lot cleaner than what it were. A little bit of watermark on this one, so I've got I've got it by the dehumidifier here. I just might go back over that bit again. 
Um, done the back seat so they've come up nice and clean. Again, that back seat there. So as you can see, I've been pretty busy really. I've not done the boot board yet. But that's come up nice just by the dehumidifier. That's dried out nicely. I've made a bit of a faux pas. <coughs> I do need to get into the boot to uh, fix the light. This is where I think the leak's coming. As you can see, there's quite a big gap there. That light's not been fixed properly. It's moving about, so I think that's where the water's getting in. That gap's nice. That's okay. But because I've disconnected the battery so the airbags don't go off, I can't get into the boot. So that's why I want to get this carpet back in, get the seats back in, then I can connect the battery, get back into the boot and fix the, uh, get that light fixed on properly. Uh, some of these door seals need attention as well. I've got some tiger seal, I'll stick that back on with some tiger seal. And yeah, that's my progress so far, see how we get on. So we're getting there, I don't know if, how much you can see on camera but I've done that driver's side, this side to do yet, so still quite a bit of muck and whatnot in that one. Hopefully this side's looking a little bit better, gone over it with the, the drill, drill brush and another hoover. Yeah it's looking much cleaner isn't it? Driver side, passenger side. Yeah, much cleaner. The drill brush, brush really makes a difference. I hoovered over it first and it was still mucky. Gone over it with that drill brush attachment, which is sort of a quid for a set, a pack of five off Amazon. It's amazing how much more you get out. I've also got this Titan suck and blow hoover, so I'm gonna put it on the blow setting in a minute and just blow the best anything else out that's left and then get on with that side sorry about the rubbish that, that's the old sound deadening that's all bagged up ready to go to the tip right I'm gonna get on with that side Right, cap it's back in. That was actually easier. I was, I was not looking forward to putting it back in, but went in really, really easy. Helped because I've took all these little bits of trim out, so it was easier to step the trim out and pop that box back on afterwards. Uh, just kind of gone over it all with this little tool now, a, a little pet hair tool. Just done that. Just gives it that nice finish. But yeah, quite happy with how clean that's come up. Spotless. This is gonna be a very, very clean car for someone. Now it's all dried out. Uh, like I said, I've just got these little bits of trim to put back on now. Work out where all these nuts and bolts go that I've took out. Um, I'm just going to do these bits of plastic as well. It's got some white residue left on it from the uh, all-purpose cleaner everywhere. I have tried rubbing that off with some just sponge and water again, but I'm going to go back over it. I'm going to try and do all the plastics before I put the seats back in. Get the seats back in, hook that up, and I can get the bonnet up. Get the boot opened so that I can try and find where the water's coming in. Just spotted, I think there's a boot seal missing in there. It looks like... There could be a seal missing along the top there as well. But I'll work all that out once I've got the uh, once I've got the boot open, get the seats back in. Right, I'm gonna crack on. Try and get this a little bit cleaner and get all these bits of trim back on. Yeah, there's a gap in light here, look. Don't seem to fit right well. See that gap? It's going to be getting in there, isn't it? Hi, Jules. You all right? 
See, that one's nice. Nice and tight, but... But I've had that light off. I thought I'd be able to get it fit to fit better than that, but it's kind of, that's pushed over as far as it will go, really. You can see it moving. Look at that. Morning, I'm back with the black focus this morning. I was hoping to do all exterior today. I was going to get it all jet washed and get it polished up, but it's chucking it down here. So I've decided the only thing I can do really is get this uh, engine bay clean. I'm going to get a bit of all-purpose cleaner and degreaser on here. As you can see, all the gutters are filthy. I'm going to get all that jet washed out. Get that cleaned. Uh, yeah, that's about as much as I can do this morning, I think. As you can see, it's quite mucky. So, well, that'll come up nice within half an hour or so. That's just a little job I'm going to get done this morning. Morning guys, right, a little bit excited this morning. Something I've been waiting to do for, since I picked this car up, is just get it cleaned. Um, hoping to drop it down for service and MOT today. Uh, I've got my bucket of hot soapy water ready. Got some non-acidic wheel cleaner, bottle of snow foam. Uh, I've used the Avalanche Auto Finesse stuff this morning and Auto Finesse Chocolate Orange Shampoo and of course I've got a coffee ready I've only got a couple of hours before I uh, have to go back and pick my little one up from school so I'm just going to crack on this morning try and get this clean I would like to, uh, I should have done a set my tripod up and got it all filmed for you but unfortunately I've only got like 3% um, storage left on my phone so I'm just, you've seen it before it it's amongst the dirtiest cars I've had, really. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to get it all cleaned up. Paint's really flat. I at least want to get it decontaminated and washed this morning. Don't think I'll have time to polish it, but it needs a good machine polish. I don't think I'll have time for that this morning. But if I can at least get it decontaminated and just give it a wash, it's going to improve it a little bit. I've got this wing mirror to repair here. So yeah, I'm going to crack on and just do a before and after for you. Like I said, I'd like to set my tripod up and I'd have filmed it and sped it up, but I'm down on storage. So I'll just do a quick before and after and I can just feel it starting to spit with rain. So I'm going to crack on. Right, I've got everything sort of snow foamed now. I've done all the, uh, all the uh, insides, all the seals and seams with all-purpose cleaner yeah, put all-purpose cleaner on all the tyres as you can see it's just lifting all the muck off now I've not agitated this yet I've done all the wheels in alloy wheel cleaner uh, I've done all the insides of the wheel arches with all-purpose cleaner uh, I've done all the inside of the door jams with all-purpose cleaner And again, you can just see the Maguire's all-purpose cleaner just lifting the muck off the tyres. I'm just going to go around now and agitate it all. So I've I've got the uh, drill brush attachment and uh, I have got a new wheel brush ordered from EZ Car Care. I'm just waiting for it being delivered. So yeah, I'm just going to go around and agitate all the, all the hard-to-reach places now and get it jet washed off. So I've just jet washed it now, really. Really excited about this project. I always have been from the start. It always looked like a really scruffy car, but I could see that underneath it was actually okay. There's no major dints or bumps or scrapes on it, and black just comes up really nice. So yeah, I've just jet washed it now, and it looks so much better already. Just got all the grime and grot out from the, the seals and a little bit here but I'll get back over and do but yeah just you know, done all the arches and stuff getting all them nice and clean yeah just feeling really positive about it now I think it'll come up really really nice so I'm going to get on that's all the decontamination stage kind of done I'm going to get on now and just give it a contact wash 
Right, I've dried this off. I've just got it sat running now. It's looking better, but it's still very, very flat. Want a good clear bar and a good, good machine polish. But it is clean now. I were gonna, I've got about an hour and a half left. I were gonna clear bar it and machine polish it now. But I've just got a text saying my C Max is ready to be picked up. Um, if I don't get that today, I'm not going to get a chance to pick it up until tomorrow. So I don't know, I don't know if to crack on with this or I'll go get the C Max. I suppose it's pointless me putting time into this machine polishing it as much as I want to that's what I want to do but it's pointless no point me doing that until it's been down for MOT really I don't expect it needing anything it has got MOT till December I'm just putting a fresh MOT on it for peace of mind but my heart is telling me I want to polish it but my head's telling me to go get the C-Max get that photographed get that advertised that's what I should do really so yeah I think we'll leave that where it is today go drop that off now for service and MOT I'm gonna get a full service on it I think um, just because it hasn't got much service history so at least it gives a bit of peace of mind if we have it full serviced Um, oh, it did have a service in December. I can't remember what it had on it. I think that might have been a full service. I'll have to check paperwork. But it does drive really nice. Anyway, a waffling. Let's get this down. Go pick the C Max up, get that advertised.